Hello, welcome back to the course on other signal processing for music applications. This week we're talking about uh, sound transformations. In the theory lectures uh, we went over uh, some of the models that we have been talking about uh, this course in the context of how they can be used to manipulate sounds. So now in these uh, demonstration classes I want to use uh, some tools, mainly the SMS tools, to try to understand uh, these uh, transformations uh, from a practical point of view. In this uh, class, uh, I want to go over the, the idea of uh, morphing using the short time for a transform. So we'll be morphing two sounds. We'll be morphing the sound of uh, the ocean sound we have been uh, listening quite a bit, and the sound of uh, male speech that we also have been uh, listening to, and uh, using the STFT uh, to uh, combine them in some way. Okay, so let's start first trying to understand these sounds. Uh, we will use the SMS tools uh, GUI, uh, the analysis uh, models one, and uh, we will start with the short time Fourier transform and we'll first analyze the uh, ocean sound. Okay, this is going to be the sound we're going to be taking as X1, as a sort of the basic sound, on top of which we will be putting uh, kind of the speech sound. So this is the basic sound and is a sound that mainly we use all the phase spectrum for and we'll be combining the magnitude spectrum uh, together with the speech. So the detail is not so important. Here we are worrying about the general spectral characteristics. So the uh, window does not have to be that big. So for example 512 it's uh, okay. There is no need to really zero padding and there is no need for zero phase windowing, so odd size window is no problem. And a Hanning window, it's, it's good. A uh, Hanning window will be able to overlap uh, nicely to 50%, so it's nice, it's a simple window. And the hop size, this is important to be quite a uh, small hop size, so that we preserve the time information of this ocean sound. So let's use maybe 128, okay? So now if we compute, uh, well, we're not going to see much because basically we're just going to see the, the spectrum of this uh, very noisy type of signal, but clearly we see this uh, wave uh, type of shape and of course these random type faces and of course the reconstruction will be the same. Anyway, so we, let's, we will start with this type of parameters and now we will also analyze the speech sound. So we'll take the speech male sound and we're going to, uh, we don't have to use the same parameters. The hop size will be the same because we will have to be uh, morphing frame by frame. Uh, the window size uh, can be larger, but again, since we're only going to take the overall shape, there is no need for a frequency resolution to define the, the harmonics of the sound or uh, have the detailed frequency resolution. Um, that uh, we would need if we wanted to uh, detect the harmonics. So maybe let's just use these. Okay, so clearly uh, this uh, in the, the magnitude uh, spectrogram we see very nicely the time information, we see very nicely the shape of the spectrum. You know? So here basically is the deformance of the sound and uh, the different vowels that uh, we are uh, here, uh, so there uh, we see these kind of red shapes and of course we don't see the individual harmonics but it's, it's not a problem, we don't want to detect them uh, for this particular type of transformation. Okay, so let's start with these two sounds and these parameters and now we will go to uh, the, um, the transformations interface so we go to uh, the SMS tool software transformation interface directory and in here is where all the code uh, for, uh, for the transformations is, I mean the, the control code. And there is a main um, file that is an interface uh, which is called uh, transformations uh, GUI. So we can execute that. And that will open the interface for the transformations uh, we have implemented uh, so far. Okay, so here we have uh, these different transformations and we will focus on this STFT morph one. And by default, in fact, uh, we have the, the sounds that uh, we were talking about. Okay, the ocean sound and the speech male sound. So let's set the parameters as we 
talked in the previous uh, analysis. So let's use the Hunting window. Let's use 512 as window size. Let's use the same FFT size. And let's use the hop size of 128. And now for the speech, again, let's use Hunting window. And let's use the same parameters. Okay. Now um, we have to choose the parameters for the actual morphing. And there is basically two parameters. One is the smooth factor of the second sound. Okay, so we're going to be applying the speed sound on top of the ocean sound, but before applying it, we're going to smooth it so that it just captures the general characteristics. These values go from 0 to 1, so where uh, 0 uh, has to be bigger than 0, and 1 is no smoothing, so that means that we just capture the 512 samples, well, half of that, because we're only going to do the positive spectrum, so 256. But we can reduce that. So by uh, default here it says 0.5, so let's uh, leave it with 0.5. And then we have a balance factor, which is a factor that will say how much of each spectrum we're going to take. If we take zero, it means it's going to be close to the ocean sound. So in fact, if we zero, it's just the ocean sound. And if it's one, it's going to be basically the full magnitude spectrum, the smooth magnitude spectrum of the speech. So let's just take quite a bit of the speech. Let's put, for example, 0.8, and let's apply it. Okay, so here is the result. We see uh, the input sound X, the ocean sound, then the magnitude spectrum of the ocean sound, and this is the morph spectrum. So this is already the, the combination of the magnitude spectrum of the ocean with the smooth spectrum of the speech. Clearly, we see quite a bit of the speech shape, but we also see the granularity of some of the ocean sound. And this is the synthesized. Let's hear the synthesized sound. Do you hear me? They don't lie at all. So we definitely uh, understand and hear very clearly the speech sound. We don't hear the pitch of it because the pitch, uh, we, don't, we have not tracked it and the phase, in fact, where a lot of the pitch information is in the phase spectrum is the one of the ocean sound. So we hear like a whispering type of sound and a kind of a little bit of the ocean. In order to hear more of the ocean, we can just uh, reduce the balance. So for example, let's put 0.2. Um, these will take, let's say, uh, 20% of the speech sound and 80% uh, of the ocean sound. Definitely now from the spectrogram we can uh, see that it's much closer to the ocean sound. In fact, it's very close to the ocean sound. But if we listen to it... Interestingly enough, since we already have heard the speech sound, Hearing this sound, we, we hear the, the, and, and understand the speech sound, even though if I bet that if we would have heard this for the first time, we would not have understood uh, this uh, speech uh, utterance at all. Anyway, uh, so feel free to play around with these things and with the parameters, and I think quite a lot of different nuances can be obtained. Of course, we could extend uh, this application to have more sophisticated controls over uh, this uh, kind of interpolation or morphing parameters. But anyway, with this, uh, I believe it's a good interface uh, to get an understanding of the potential of this type of, uh, of tools and of techniques. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say. Uh, so basically we have used uh, the SMS tools, uh, first uh, the analysis to understand the, the spectrum of these two signals uh, that we wanted to morph, and then we uh, introduced the, the transformations interface that we have within the SMS tools, and we have used the SMS more, uh, uh, STFT morph um, interface to morph these uh, two sounds that are from uh, free sound, this ocean sound, and uh, this speech sound. So that's all. That was uh, the first demonstration class. We have uh, seen the, the potential of the STFT for morphing. Now in the next classes we will go to the, the sinusoidal model and to the harmonic plus residual and stochastic to experiment with 
other types of uh, transformations. So I hope to uh, see you next class. Bye-bye.